Hi you guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am bringing you my fall decorate with me and I'm also gonna be making a super easy chicken pot pie recipe in this video. And at the end, I'm gonna be giving you my fall home decor tour and tell you where everything is from. So make sure you stick around until the end so you can see that super easy recipe and find out where all of my fall decor came from. So I know everybody decorates for fall at a different time throughout the year. Some people decorate for fall at the beginning of September. I am one of the people that waits until the first day of fall on the calendar, the end of September, and I wait until then to pull out my fall decor just to hold on to summer as long as I possibly can. But this is definitely one of my favorite times of the year. As you can see, we're watching Hocus Pocus while I'm decorating. And so what I like to do when I'm decorating for fall is incorporate Halloween when I'm first decorating. So then the Halloween stuff can stay up through like the end of September all the way to the end of October. And then I will pull the Halloween pieces out and put those away. And then I will keep everything else up for Thanksgiving until I decorate for Christmas, which I decorate for Christmas the day after Thanksgiving. So all of the decor that is up will stay up until the day after Thanksgiving. The only things that will be put away are the few little like specific Halloween pieces that I do have, which isn't that many. So I really like to incorporate the traditional oranges and like the deep reds and those beautiful fall colors. So that's what you're gonna see throughout my house. And then I also really love the Buffalo check, which I will use for my Christmas decor as well. But you're gonna see a lot of pumpkins around my house, kind of like a pumpkin patch is in my house. I just love using pumpkins for fall decor and pine cones and like I said, the warm fall traditional colors. Anytime I'm redecorating for a new season, I basically just play around with all my decor, move things around to different places until I feel like I get it right, which you guys will see in the end of this video when I give you my tour of how I have everything. You'll notice that I've moved things around since I have filmed this portion of the video because a few days might go by and I'll have a better idea and then I'll move it around.
that is it for decorating. Let's move on to dinner and then I'll give you a tour of all my decor. So we're gonna make chicken pot pie tonight and what you're gonna need is a package of ready biscuits that you can just cook in the oven, three cans of cream of chicken soup, six chicken thighs, some ground black pepper, half of a white onion, and a 12 ounce bag of mixed frozen vegetables. You're gonna start off by preheating your oven to whatever the biscuits say on the label. So mine said 325, so I'm gonna go ahead and preheat my oven and get my biscuits ready to go. I used to make the biscuits right on top of the pie filling and they just never came out right. So I started cooking them partially in the oven first and then when they were almost done, I pop them out and you'll see what I do and I'll tell you what to do then. But while the oven is preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and dice up half of a white onion and get that ready to cook. And then I'm also going to dice up all six of those chicken thighs into small bite-sized pieces. Now I'm gonna take a large oven safe skillet and put some olive oil in there. I don't measure, I just kind of you know, put that much on the bottom. And I'm gonna go ahead and start heating up my onions, get those a little bit cooked and translucent before I add in the chicken and start cooking that. Meanwhile, I'm gonna pop the biscuits in to the oven and keep an eye on those until they are just about done and then we're gonna pull those out. So now I'm adding in that diced up chicken and I'm gonna get that cooked thoroughly with the onions with a little bit of ground black pepper. Once the chicken is completely cooked, smelling good with the onions, I'm gonna add in the whole bag of frozen vegetables, stir those in and get those cooked up as well. Now my biscuits are just about done and after this point they'll kind of start turning golden brown if you leave them in there. So I pulled those out and I'm going to let them sit there for just a minute while I'm getting the rest of the filling ready. So once the vegetables are warmed up and not frozen anymore, I'm going to dump in the three cans of cream of chicken soup and get all of that warmed up until it comes to a nice simmer. At this point, you can also add in as much pepper as you would like to for taste. Once our filling has a nice little bubble to it and it is ready to go, we're gonna take those biscuits that are just about done and I'm gonna pop them on top. You're also going to raise the heat on your oven to about 400 degrees and pop those biscuits in there with your mixture and just keep an eye on them until they look like this. I don't really have a time. I don't put a timer on. I just watch them until they look golden brown like this and the sauce is all bubbly. So that is the finished product and oh man, does it smell so good, you guys. So now I'm gonna go ahead and just spoon some of that into bowls for me and Donnie. And I just kind of put a biscuit in there with however much filling. And then for the kids, I will take the biscuits out and cut them up into bite-sized pieces. It just makes it easier for them to eat their dinner without having to try to worry about cutting up those big old biscuits. So I'm gonna fill up their bowls with the filling and then um, distribute out the biscuits on top. You 
you guys be sure to let me know over on Instagram or tag me in your stories if you end up making my super simple chicken pot pie recipe and let me know what you guys think. But now let's get into this fall decor tour. First off, we're gonna start on the front porch. So these orange pillows, they are just covers that I ordered off of Amazon and I will try to link as much as I can below for you guys. And then I picked up this happy fall y'all sign from TJ Maxx. And now by my front door, I picked up those orange baskets from Hobby Lobby and the mums I got from Home Depot as well as the hello mat. And then the white pumpkin I got from the Target dollar spot. My jute rug is from Ikea, which I've had for probably three years now. The Buffalo check rug is from Amazon. The harvest sign is from Hobby Lobby. On the other side of it says welcome. And then the wreath I picked up a few years ago at Fred Meyer. And then the sign in the middle of the wreath is from Decorated when I worked with them a couple of years ago. This little hanging basket with the sunflowers is from Home Goods, and I just have it hanging here in our entryway. And I need to make a trip back to Hobby Lobby to get some sort of fall floral to go up here on the shelf in our entryway. So now moving on down the hall, we just have this bookshelf with a little happy fall uh, pumpkin that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then I do have a fall candle there sitting on the shelf as well, but nothing too crazy in the hallway, keeping it pretty simple. Moving on into the dining room, I have this happy fall sign that was made for me by a friend a couple of years ago. And then I have this wheat bouquet with the buffalo check and the burlap that I picked up at TJ Maxx. And then this little harvest pumpkin my mom got for me, I'm not sure where it came from. I just have a candle stick holder or a candle stand that I already had. And then this mahogany teakwood bath and body works candle that a sweet follower sent to me with a couple of others as well. And so I thought the black looked perfect right there. And then moving on over to the dining room table, I got this runner with the buffalo check and the orange and the pumpkins. I just thought it was so perfect. I picked this up at TJ Maxx as well. I really didn't have that much fall decor, so I definitely added to my collection this year, and I just love how everything came together. But I picked up this basket at Home Goods, and then the filler I picked up at Hobby Lobby, and it actually smells like cinnamon, and it smells so good. The little gray pumpkins are from the Target dollar spot, I think, I don't know, I think two years ago. And then the Harvest Leaves candle was from Home Goods. And now let's check out my buffet. So the Salem Broom Company sign I found at the Target dollar spot. And then this faux scale I got on Amazon. And the wood pedestal is from a company that doesn't make them anymore, but I do have another brand that I can share with you guys. It's very similar. The orange pumpkin is from Hobby Lobby and these little felt pumpkins are from the Target dollar spot. And then I picked up this pumpkin and bourbon candle from Sierra Trading Post, and it is probably the best smelling candle I've ever smelled in my whole entire life. And now headed into the kitchen, we just have the edge of our pantry here with the shiplap, and all I really did here was add this wreath with this a dark red, purple, it's so beautiful. I got that at the Target dollar spot. And then this Hocus Pocus towel I picked up at TJ Maxx. And then this is another little wreath that I got at the Target dollar spot. I just stuck it up here above the fridge just to add a little pop of color. And then I put a white pumpkin in my cake stand next to my oven. The white pumpkin, was from Decorated when I worked with them a couple of years ago. And then I have this Happy Halloween towel that came with the Hocus Pocus one. They're both Ray Dunn from TJ Maxx. And then the orange towels were from Hobby Lobby. And then moving on over, I don't really have that much. I have a little white pumpkin there next to my soap that's from the Target dollar spot. And then up on the shelf here, I have a little orange felt pumpkin that I also picked up from Target. And then I have a little white one, and then this tan ceramic one was from Target as well. And that little Harvest Hay Rides was from last fall at Target Dollar Spot too. I love that little section for the little trinkets. I found the Buffalo Check hand towels at Hobby Lobby, 
And then here on my island, I just have a bouquet of flowers from the grocery store. And then this pumpkin is from Target Dollar Spot probably four years ago. And then this little wood and gold one I found at Home Goods. Moving on into my living room, these orange and red wreaths I picked up at Hobby Lobby that are hanging on my wood arches that are also from Hobby Lobby. I need to do a whole new house tour to tell you guys where everything is from. So this Hocus Pocus pillow cover is from Decorated, and then this is another one of the candles that my awesome follower sent to me, the Pumpkin Vanilla Cream, and then that jute pumpkin was from Target Dollar Spot a couple years ago, and that little ceramic pumpkin was from Target Dollar Spot this year. There's another one of those wood and kind of gold shimmer pumpkins from Home Goods. The big orange pumpkin is from Home Goods, and then I picked up this yummy nutmeg buttercream candle from Home Goods as well, and the white pumpkin is from Hobby Lobby. And then all three of these pillow covers are from Amazon, just in different sizes to fit the pillows that I already had. But I love all of these colors together. I think it just warmed everything up and it's just so cozy. The black covers are also from Amazon and they're like a velvet, they're so soft. This pumpkin pillow was from TJ Maxx as well as this super soft um, throw blanket. And then there's another one of those black covers and then I have the same three colors down here on this end of the couch. So I just love how warm and cozy everything is. And then in the center of my coffee table, I just have this tray that I already had and I filled it with that same filler that I put on the basket on our dining room table. But this green pumpkin is from the Target Dollar Spot, I think three or four years ago. And I just have a little hearth and hand candle from Target in the middle of that. But there's a little overview of the living room and the kitchen and the dining room. I just love how all the colors are just kind of tied together. And like I said, it's just so warm and cozy in here. And then in the kids' bathroom, I just added a pumpkin hand towel that I got at Hobby Lobby. And then this little stand is from Zizo & Co, which I'll link for you guys. A little candle from TJ Maxx. And then this pinecone garland I got from Target a couple years ago. This pumpkin spice hand soap honestly doesn't really smell like anything at all, but it's from TJ Maxx. And then this little cream and gold pumpkin is from Target a couple years ago as well. But that is going to be it for my fall home tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And please let me know if you end up making that chicken pot pie recipe. I've been making it for years and years. So simple and easy, pretty much a staple in our house this time of year. And um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. So thank you again for watching. Be sure to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed it. And be sure to subscribe if you are new. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.